Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Shook. I'm a board-certified chiropractic physician here in Hickory, North Carolina, and today I'd like to talk to you about arthritis, some of the causes, some of the treatments, and some of the things you might want to consider if you're suffering with it. So arthritis, there's, there are numerous types of arthritis. The most common type of arthritis is called osteoarthritis. Now osteoarthritis is considered the wear and tear type of arthritis. But you know, the interesting thing is I hear a lot of times people will say, you know, I've got, doctor told me I've got arthritis and I just wore it out, you know, and it's normal for my age. That's the one thing that really really is uh, is um, not true <laughs> because think about this if arthritis was normal for your age then everyone your age would have the same problem you have but of course they don't and if also if it's something like your knee or something that's that's breaking down and wearing down then why isn't the other knee the same way right so it's you know it's it's not a normal thing we see people that have excellent joints later in life and and it's really you know there's a lot more to it than just age for sure um, now Arthritis, we particularly, in our office, we work with a lot of different joints, but we work with the spine and we work a lot with knees. And those are two joints that are very common, you know, very susceptible to osteoarthritis, which is the most common form of arthritis. It's considered the wear and tear arthritis, um, but really it's more about abnormal load bearing that breaks the joint down over time. Okay, so that's, that's an important thing. But, you know, what we do to help support and improve arthritis is we first of all we try to support you know what is what the problem is a lot of people have arthritis and have no pain and no dysfunction so if you're having pain with arthritis we need to understand well you know first of all what type of arthritis is it is it osteoarthritis is it rheumatoid arthritis which is a metabolic arthritis is it psoriatic arthritis there, and there's different approaches you know those other types of arthritis we might use uh, functional medicine or a, a metabolic approach but the osteoarthritis of the spine we can typically utilize different types of therapies, very gentle therapies that you may not have heard of, like non-surgical spinal decompression therapy, a very gentle therapy that helps to take pressure off the joints, improve joint health, improve lubrication of the joint, decrease pain, and can really help you improve your function. Uh, that's one of the things we might use. Or we might use laser therapy, which helps to decrease pain, increase circulation, and it actually helps to improve healing of tissues. We could use some of our pain-based uh, therapies and use all these things in combination to try to get you out of pain and get you moving better so you have better quality and quantity of life, ultimately. So arthritis of the spine, there's different approaches we'll take. Uh, the knee, there's different, different approaches. Again, like laser therapy, decompression, we can utilize a lot of these things. And in a lot of cases, when we see pain with arthritis, we also want to consider the metabolic health of the person. So are you really inflamed? How is your diet? What's your nutritional status? And you know, a lot of doctors don't talk to you about this when you have arthritis. You go in and it's like all those things are not important, right? You got this joint problem and it hurts. Well, I'm here to tell you right now that your, your body chemistry is critically important. If you have high levels of inflammation, you're going to have more sensitive nerve endings. You're going to, you're going to experience more pain than someone else. So we have to consider nutrition and and also your you know your 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 body chemistry or you're just you're you're missing a huge opportunity to have improvements in your health so we work with people I try to look at the whole person you know I always when someone comes into our office I'm always thinking what's going on with this person other than just that knee hurts or that their spine hurts I really want to know okay what's that what's their spine what's going on there what's their diet like do they do they have high inflammatory chemistry and, you know sometimes we'll order you know a minimal amount of testing for people like blood work sometimes we'll order very expanded blood work to help us get a better idea of what's going on and it really comes down to ultimately what your goals are you know I can tell you that if you have if you have problems with your blood chemistry and inflammatory issues then you have to address those problems to get a good quality of life to heal optimally you know to improve your quality and quantity quantity of life and that's what it's all about so I want to share with you a little bit of information about arthritis you know this is a big topic there's lots of different types but the most common type is that osteoarthritis which is known as the wear and tear type we work with it a lot a lot of the times the therapies and things that we do alone can be very beneficial but you know I try to look at every person and they come in the door and um, try to try to give you the best advice that I possibly can. And sometimes that incorporates, that means you've got to incorporate nutritional therapy. Sometimes you might need a little bit of blood test, uh, some laboratory testing. Sometimes means you might need a lot of blood testing. But uh, it just, you know, depends on the individual. But I hope this helps you better understand arthritis, some of the things that, some of the problems that can cause it, some of the therapies and treatments that might be able to help you with it. So if you have any questions or if you would like my opinion on your case, on your arthritis, you can give us a call at 828-324-0800 and my staff will be able to help you out. If you want to learn more about how I might work with spinal arthritis or knee arthritis, you can go to our website at hickoryspine.com and click on 
um, spine or knee pain and it will tell you more about that. But I hope this helps you better understand a really complex topic in arthritis. If there's anything we can do, please do reach out. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.